So what's bad is these tourists are horrible. They do not respect uh, our rules and laws of the county. I just went in the store and these damn tourists, they, uh, guys standing right behind me, like, two foot away, right, you know, like, up my butt there, and I turned around and told them nicely, you know, six foot, full please, they didn't give a damn, so, you tourists need to go back home where you belong, go kill your own people. Please don't come here and disrespect us by not wearing a mask and not doing social distancing. We head on out. So the fuel guy was there and I was parked off to the side by the air meter thing and I, before I even left the car I walked out because I didn't know if he was there for that company or not because um, he'd been parked for a while in front. But he could have also been checking his papers in or whatever, you know. Um, and I went up to his, his door and I said, am I in your way? And he said, no, not at all. I said, you sure? <laughs> because the uh, manhole tops were like all down the way. And I wasn't parked on them, but I was parked near them. And I didn't want to hold this guy up because it was kind of busy over there. If he was delivering to that station. And... Um, um, because there was other parking. I just always park on that far side. Um, away from everybody. Uh, and, um, uh, he was very nice. And so he sat and waited. I got in the store, got kind of in and out pretty quick. Um, but then some tourists from Tennessee came in and parked right next to where I was parked. And I was hoping to God this guy wasn't really delivering fuel to that station. And boy, sure as heck, as soon as I got ready to move, he's pulled up sitting and waiting on that Tennessee car to move so that he can get to the manhole covers to deliver that fuel. So he's got to sit and wait. And there's a woman in the car that's just sitting playing on the phone. And she could be moving that car to let him through so he can do his job. It takes a little time for them to fill those tanks. I've seen them where they've sat for 30 minutes. I mean, you don't want to intentionally block them. I know I was at a gas station when a fuel guy harassed me. And, uh, it was really nasty. I mean, the first thing he said was, I'll have your car totally. And it's like, for what? And, uh, it, it's a little tiny gas station out in, uh, Niceville, Blue Water area. That's a Walmart gas station. And, uh, it has, like, three or four parking spaces and all the employees park there. And then, uh, there's a lot of curbs around, but nothing's, like, red or anything like that except for right around the building so that people don't just park there and, because it's a fire hazard you know if you park right there without getting fuel or anything and um, so I park way out of the way and there's they don't have any like no parking signs or anything like that I was next to the driveway and boy that was something else I had to call the sheriffs on that for I have a friend of mine that delivers fuel in, and they have the most expensive insurance and like the highest pay because they're a very high risk job. Because at any time those tanks could blow up for whatever reason and all that and they die. So it's a real high risk job they pay real well for it.
check some boxes over here. There is the real homeless. So I have an interesting situation where I uh, rented a place in Fort Walton, supposedly four months rental. I couldn't figure out what she was talking about. I'm like, I have to pay four months rent in advance? I don't get it. Well, it's four months. It's four months. I'm like, four months what? Um, I mean, are you talking tourist rental? What is this? Well, I want to sell. If I were her, I'd have just listed the sucker and forgot renting. Because, man, it's got the original carpet. There's no fur in it. And the tile is wretched. It's from when a building was built, I'm sure. Um, I haven't seen tile like that in years. It's like an emerald green fake marble. And uh, um, that was kind of popular in like the 70s and 80s. Uh, it's not even linoleum. It's just tile squares. But they're just really brittle and it's horrible though. Anyway, the place is like self-destructing. So old. But uh I always pay my rent and I got laid off twice during the corona at one of my big jobs. And then of course my business went bleh because nobody was spending money until the checks came out for the pandemic um, the internet went wild all of a sudden and um, then uh, doing gig delivery was tough because you know fuel got really dirt cheap but it was just so many miles and everything and I, it was like I was beating my head against the wall for nothing even though the pay is very good in this area for the app gig stuff. Um, it's just a ton of hours for very little money. Money that I have to pay taxes on. But, um, so, uh, it's been interesting. She tried to evict me in like 15 days and I called the lawyer and I was kind of done with that. The worst crap. Because it turns out my lease has no expiration. I thought it was expired. Anyway, talk to you in a minute.